art friends, today we are going to draw a love attack. Yeah, instead of a heart attack, we're going to draw a love, <laughs> love attack. We hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a marker and a pencil. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first fold our paper. We'll take the top edge, line it up with the bottom. And when it's all lined up, you can crease it down the middle and then out to the corners. Yeah. And then let's take the top flap and line it up with the top edge. And when it's lined up, crease it down. Then we'll flip over our paper and repeat that same step. We'll take the top flap, line it up and crease it down. This is just a guide fold. So let's unfold it and flatten it out and then flip our paper back over. When we're all done, it should open up like this. I have some scratch paper we can put underneath our drawing paper just to protect our table because we're drawing with markers and it's red just to match our table, but you can use any scratch paper for your drawing. Now we're going to use our markers first and we're going to draw a heart. Half of the heart will be above this fold and the other half below the fold. Let's first draw two guide points. We'll draw one right in the middle of our paper, but towards the top. I'll draw maybe right about there. And we can have another guide point directly below it down here. Then let's draw the left side of the heart first. We'll curve up out of the guide point, curve around and over the fold. And then when we get to about here, we can go straight in to the guide point. And then let's draw the other side to match. We can draw up for the bump, curve around and then into the guide point. Good job. That's it. We can now unfold our paper and flatten it out. So we should have half of the heart up here and the other half down at the bottom. We're going to extend the side of the heart on each side past the fold. And then we're going to draw this heart exploding. So let's draw a curve coming out to the side on each side. And then we're going to draw a zigzag line to connect the left side over to the right side. And we can curve the zigzag line too. So I'm going to draw some of the zigzags small and some of them big all the way across. And also see how I'm curving the other direction too as you come over to the right side. Uh, it looks like it's all torn apart. Good job all the way and connect. You did it. That looks really cool. Now let's do the same thing down here. We can extend the left side and the right side past. And then let's curve to here. I'm just adding a small curve. And then let's do the same thing. We'll draw a curve zigzag line all the way over to the other side until you connect in. Now let's put our markers off to the side and switch to our pencils. Now let's write the word love across the middle fold. I'm going to start by drawing or writing the letter V right here on kind of the left side of the center. So if you're drawing a, an imaginary line through the middle of the paper, I drew the V just to the right of that center. And then we can write the letter O right next to it. This is so the word love is centered on our paper. Then we can add the letter L over here and the letter E on the right side. Now let's switch to our marker and put our pencil off to the side. And let's turn our letters into block letters. So first, let's draw the letter L, but look at this. I'm drawing on the outside of the pencil line. So we're just using a pencil line as guidelines. Then we can draw the inside of the letter L. So it's really just a smaller L. And then we can draw a line connecting there and also up top. Then let's do the same thing for the letter O. I'm going to draw a circle. Watch this. I'm going to go behind the letter L around and you can just trace over top of the letter V.
Then let's draw another letter O, but smaller inside of the pencil guideline. And then we can do the same thing for the letter V. And I'm also going to extend the letter V up a little higher so it goes past the O. This time, let's do the letter V a little different. We can draw the top of the letter V. I'm going to draw a short line there and also a short line here. And then let's draw a small letter V to connect those two lines together. And then we can imagine the rest of the letter V going behind the O. So there's a small little line up here. You can imagine it going behind, coming down here and then connecting over here. Then let's do the same thing for letter E. I'm going to draw on the outside of the pencil. We can imagine it going behind the V, coming down, and then across the bottom. Then let's also draw inside of the letter E. So I'm going to draw a short kind of sideways box. And then we can do the same thing down here for the bottom of the E. Then let's extend this line out so that it lines up with the top. And then we can connect those two lines together. And then the inside of the E we can connect. And then if we need to, we can extend the bottom part too and connect there. And we went kind of fast. So remember, if you need extra time, you can always pause the video. Yeah. You can also rewind if you need to see any of the steps again. Now let's switch back to our pencil or the eraser part and erase all of the guidelines inside of the letters. We did it. We're all done drawing our love attack, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, my favorite part. We are going to fast forward again. So remember to pause the video and take time to color your drawings. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Taryn, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our love attack. That looks awesome, except let's show our friends the inside. Okay. On the count of three. One, One two, two, three. three. Happy Valentine's. <laughs> <laughs> we added extra things to our drawing. We added a little border around the word love, and we also added a lot more hearts. When you're adding more things to your drawing, you want to make sure you add it above the bottom fold and below the top fold. That way, when it's all folded up, it's hidden and you can't see it. And then when you open it, it's a nice surprise. I love it. And you could even add more things or color it differently. Yeah. You could also add different words. You could add, I love you. You could even add Valentine's Day. You could really add anything to the inside. We use our Art for Kids Hub markers to color with. And if you have the same set, we use 15 red for the heart, 88 pink for the word love, and 17 as a lighter pink for the hearts. We also use 66 blue for the border. But you don't have to use our markers. You can use crayons or colored pencils. Yeah. We hope you had fun drawing your love attack. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you take extra time to color and add even more things to the inside. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.